Good afternoon, learners. I'm Mr. Manioni, supervisor for Mathematics Estimate. So our topic for today will be based on division of decimal fraction by the decimal fractions. So division of decimal fraction by decimal fractions. So we have two types that we are going to be able to observe today. Type 1, we move the decimal point in both numbers to the right by the same number of place to make the divisor a whole number. So it's very important, the divisor must be converted to the whole number so that we can be able to apply the long division. For example, calculate 4,56 divided by 1,2. So in this regard, we must convert 1,2 into the whole number because there's only one digit number after the comma. We're going to multiply by 10 to get the whole number. It will be 1,2 times 10 give us 12. So now the same process that you apply on a divisor also must also apply on a dividend. So 4,56 you b times by 10 give us 4,56. Now in the sixth regard, we say convert the convert to the whole number by multiplying by 10. Since there are one decimal number after the comma, use decimal on the divisor. This is what we have here. So 1,2 times 10 gives us 12. Now let's look for the calculation of the same equations using a long division method. So 44,56 there by 1,2. Remember, we already converted it to 12. So now we have the 12 as the whole number. So now we're going to say now 45 there by 12. The result is 3. Now 12 times 3. The result is 36. Now remember the purposes of division, you subtract. Now 45 minus 36, the result gives us 6. The result gives us 6. So what we have now, we have 6 as the result. Now you drop 6, give us 96. Now you say now 12, 96 divided by 12, the result is 8. So and then now you subtract. Then the remainder is zero. So therefore, in this regard, you say that 4,56 divided by 1,2, the solution is 3,8. Now let's look for the type 2. The type 2, which is same processes, but now will be a little different because you must apply the knowledge that you learned on the previous lessons for division of common fractions by the common fractions on the previous lesson. So in this case, we stated also at division of decimal fraction by the decimal fraction, type 2. So in this type 2, we said convert decimal fraction into the common fraction. Convert decimal fraction into the common fraction. For example, if there are one number after the comma, the denominator is 10. If there are two numbers after the comma, the denominator is Hundred and so on. So this is our example: four comma five six divided by one comma two. So in short, in this case, convert one comma two because this one number. Do you how much now? We're going to have one comma two over one times ten divided by ten. So what we have is our results. They give us 12 over 10. So now, therefore, 4,56 divided by 1,2, the answer is still the same as 456 over 100 divided by 12 over 10. Remember, 456 over 100, how many decimal places? There are two digits after the comma. That's why we divide by what? Divide by 100 for the same steps. So now, remember, previous lesson said that if we have a division, we must convert it to add two multiplications. And from there, after converting it, you, you rewrite 
the value after the division to be what? To be the converse of it, to be the inverse of it. So we have 456 divided by 100 times 10 over 100. Convert a division into the multiplication and write the inverse of the value. So the answer is 3,8. So I think uh, the, this type two scenario, I think is easiest one to work with. So let's look at the other examples that you can able to apply. So in this case, now we have two digits after the comma. So 6,25 divided by 0, 0,25. Remember, I said that if there are two numbers after the comma, your denominator must be what? 100. So in this case, what we have 625 over 100 divided by 25 over 100. So we already converted it. So remember, convert division to multiplications. So it will be 625 divided by 100 times by 100 over 25. So the solution is 25. So in conclusion, to work with division of decimal fraction by decimal fraction, you must convert decimal into common fraction. This is the first important scenario you can apply. So this one is more easiest way of instead of using what? Instead of using the long division method. Convert decimal fraction into the common fractions to work with. So let's look at this example again. So in this case, we have two we have 2,25 divided by 1,5. Remember, how many decimal, in this case, two digit at 2,25. Two now is the whole number in front of it. So remember this case, remember our previous work, we was talking about the mixed numbers. So in this case, it's 2,25 divided by 1,5. Convert into common fractions. What we have, 2,25 is 225 over 100. 1,5 is 15 over 100. Now you multiply. multiply. 225 divided by 100 times 10 over 15. See, we already converted it 15 over 10. Use the process of division. So answer is 3 over 2, which gives us 1,5. So I believe you understand this very important again scenario. You always, if you have divisions, convert into common fractions. I'll repeat again. To work with the division of decimal fraction by decimal fraction, you must convert it to decimal uh, uh, common fractions. So that is the end of my lessons for you good learners. Thank you very much for listening.